Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, if we do go live and you miss it, this way you can catch any of the uh, highlights and things of that nature. Don't forget, we do got merch. Somebody put in a huge order, or larger than normal order. Uh, it's on the way. Appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, and don't forget, we do got Patreon. Two two, two new shows are starting this week. Oh, we didn't even vote. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we voted last time. I'm going to just take the top one from then. Okay, I got to figure that out. All right. <laughs> this is Beard Meets Food. He's a local hero in the UK. Yeah. He's in Calgary. And this is the biggest Donair kebab challenge in Canada. The Donairosaurus Rex. <laughs> All right. I searched high and low to find a Donair kebab. They only offer beef ones here. or That's the only ones I've run across. I don't want beef. I want lamb. I want it just like y'all would have it. I'm searching though. Anyway, let's get into it, man. It's minus three today. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> but it's pretty cold in Canada. So I bought myself some Canada proof shoes. Check them out. Look, they've got a highly practical, if slightly garish, furry insole, which should keep my feet nice and toasty warm in today's episode. Yeah. Those are vans? Those are nice. I ain't even gonna lie. Maybe not that print, but you know. If they just had some black furry ones. See, I told you it's cold. Lake's frozen stiff. Oh, here we are. Don Ayers, this must be the place. Oh, this'll do. Well, I tell you what. These furry shoes are very comfortable indeed. I bet you the first stink after like four wears. You just don't strike me as a man who just like will keep the fur clean and and un, and tamed and things. If you ever happen to see this, just let me know. Do the first thing. Quite happy with my purchase. This is what we're doing today. They call it the Donosaurus Rex <laughs> because it's a giant Donna kebab or Donair, as they call it out here. Not sure why they call it that, but uh, maybe we'll get to the bottom of it, eh? I don't understand why you guys call it a kebab in the UK. There's nothing kebabby about it. Because when I think of a kebab, I think of a shish kebab. But they don't, they're not similar. I came all the way here from the other side of town just to see you. How did you know it'd be? Uh, so you did the cat fiddle, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, let me park. Nice to meet you. Oh, my son will be so happy I met you. You can get one selfie. Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Your son's memorized the cheesecake. He does. What a legend. Oh, look, it's a celebrity treatment. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, I'm here for the uh, the big, the Donosaurus Rex. Yes. <laughs> this used to be a subway or something. So cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good, thanks. How are you? It's been around since 2011. Oh, it's old school. Quite a few people. 12 inches of Donair meat. Pause. People have done it though, so no excuses. How much does it cost? It's 50 bucks if you don't finish it. But, but you get it if you if you finish, you get it free. If you finish, you get it and free. And you get a spot on that wall of fame yeah. over there. Okay. And somebody's done it in 15 minutes? Yeah, Joel Hansen. I don't know if I'll do it that quick, but. Yeah, of course Joel did it that fast. Have y'all ever, now pause, have y'all ever paid attention to Joel's mouth? It's like huge pause once again, because I'll be watching these food competitions. The smallest biter that I've ever seen is probably beard, beard meets food. It takes very small bites. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Exactly. Behind the scenes access to the kitchen. God damn it. How do you work back here? You get like, used to it after 20 years. <laughs> feels like that part in, you know, Indiana Jones where his face just melts off, leaving just a skeleton. Before I ruin your appetite, <laughs> try a sample. It's just lamb, right? Like, we have gyros. What's the difference between a donut kebab and a gyro? Like, we have a place called, uh, oh man, Big Herms in, uh, on the north side. It's in Evanston, um, in the Chicagoland area. 
And I used to, I get gyros from there all the time. It looks like it's just very thinly cut. It's the same thing on the big skewer thing. Go on then, I'll try a little bit, try a little bit. I'm just gonna try the whole thing. Or just try the whole thing. Yeah, why not? Cool. I don't feel like there's no difference. Like, I can go get a gyro. What's, like, somebody, like, I need to know the difference. Lamb meat on a spinny skewer thing, cooked, cut thinly. We have, uh, on pita. Uh, traditional donair sauce, which is sweet sauce. Which now that, is sauce? we have, uh, traditional donair sauce, which is sweet sauce, which is evaporated milk, sugar, vinegar. Yeah, why not? We have a nice garlic mayo, and we have a hot sauce, like a chili sauce. Definitely not the hot sauce. Right. Right. It's sweet though. Got, yeah, why not? The only difference I see is the, the sauce. Oh, why not? Just try and get some of the background shots of them. Like, I'll try my get, best. I'll get in the foreground. There you go. Give us a wave. That's a, that's a good wave. Are you flexing there? Looks a bit like you flex. <laughs> I'm only messing, man. That's half. Look at his cat laughing over here. He's like, oh, that's half. <laughs> I should have done, uh, you know, the Jurassic Park. What was that? What was that going like? That's when you swoop in and put it on the table and it looks all cinematic. Oh, I'm only messing. <laughs> I'm at a place today called Uncle Mo's Donairs. It's uh, $50. If you don't finish, uh, you have 40 minute time on it. If you do finish, it's free. We'll put you on the wall of fame. Does it look like $50 gotta be a punishment because that don't look like $50 worth of, of Donair. <laughs> start when I unwrap it or does it start when I take my first bite or? You take your first bite. It's a baby almost. What do you reckon? I look so good, man. I'm deprived of good food here in, the, in America. I mean, in Florida. Have I got it? You got it. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? You're supposed to not. <laughs> well, yeah, whenever you're ready, man. On your mark, get set. See, we have we don't have that donair sauce, though. Unless it's the same as tzatziki sauce or whatever it is. Eat. Let's go. And eat we shall. This chap was very excited. But we'll get to that in due course. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're at Uncle Mo's in Calgary. Hold on, what happened to Nushkrr? What happened to that? Taking on the infamous Donairosaurus Rex Challenge, which has been around flipping ages, 12 years in fact, to be precise. It consists of just loads of Donna meat, really. Some veggies and sauce, all tightly packed into a fairly large wrap. Camera's in short, don't worry about it. <laughs> I think you could be Joel. Yeah, I had a wide shot set up, which I didn't actually use, but I think one of the blokes watching kind of bumped into it and he was a bit worried. So I told him it was insured just to set his mind at rest, you know, even though my uh, my policy expired eight months ago. <laughs> that sweet sauce is delicious. Right. Thank yeah, I think this bloke is quickly realizing that watching somebody eat is actually pretty dull without the magic of post production. Yeah, it's much better doing a reaction to it later. I don't like, I remember Joel was in Chicago and I was gonna go say what's up because we, you know. You know, if I send him a message, it pops right up in his inbox at the top because I don't know how they got it set up, but yeah, we'd be conver conversing and things of that nature. You say you want to show your wife. <laughs> I just want to show her that I'm going to pay the suit for <laughs> Beard meets food. If you're ever in Florida, South Florida, please hit me up. If you see it, please hit me up. Cause I be feeling like I could do one of these challenge. Like I, I really need to put it in perspective for people how hard this is. Because I don't, I feel like I can do one, but I don't. This for sure I can eat. One hundred percent. And what he does? Don't show that video before, uh, before dinner time. Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome, bro. Used to the hovercraft now. <laughs> oh, you got it. Be careful. Give it a little bit of shit. You know, I've never heard that expression before, but I quite like it. In case you're wondering, by the way, uh, the reason why there are actually a few people watching is apparently the restaurant posted saying I was going to be here on social media, which I did not realize, especially since I didn't arrange it far in advance or anything. But it was nice to meet a few subscribers. Oh, 
free publicity. They're going to get some money up out of this. <laughs> and I'm forever indebted to the chap who recommended this sauce, the sweet Don Air sauce, because it was amazing. I could have. The only difference I see is the sauce. We have tzatziki sauce or whatever it calls, and y'all got some like Don Air sauce. That's the literally only thing that's different. Like, and I know y'all going to get in the comments and try to tell me what's different. No, it's not. So stop now. <laughs> Uh, drank that stuff neat, straight out the bottle. I've been wanting to tell it, but now after this, I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I know, I can. <laughs> this sauce is like a really thick, savory milkshake. It sounds <laughs> disgusting, but it's actually delicious. I want to eat it like a real kebab. Not that I'm suggesting for one moment that this is a fake kebab, heaven forfend. What I mean, of course, is I want to eat it like a wrap. And now I've dealt with much of the meat, I should be able to wrap my chops around this sucker. Pause. Oh my God. Paul, what did you just say? Kebab, heaven forfend. What I mean, of course, is I want to eat it like a wrap. And now I've dealt with much of the meat, I should be able to wrap my chops around this sucker. Hey, that's 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 crazy verbiage that you just used right there. Pause. This is dense, man. How are you doing over there? I'm good. Thanks for this sauce. How much do these cost? I'm going to like a full full <laughs> tube of it. The white sauce on there is making it easy, even more crazy. Like, I'm just continually playing back what you said, and then you sprayed the white sauce. That's... I'll see if they have enough. <laughs> hey, this is what you call a team effort. Apparently, they go through 12 liters of that sauce every day. I don't actually know how long I've been going. <laughs> 10 minutes? Yeah. We got something in Chicago called a... Um, I don't know what the actual name is for it, but you know, it'd be on menus as VL burgers. It's called a Vice Lord burger. A Vice Lord is, you know, it's a Chicago gang. I don't know why they call it that though, because I I be eating it. Pause. It's like a hamburger, a cheeseburger with gyro meat on top and mild sauce. Mild sauce, another Chicago thing. Bomb beer. If y'all ever go to a shop in the UK or wherever, whoever's watching this, get a get a burger, cheeseburger, and put gyro meat on it, and try to like put like hot sauce, ketchup, and like a little mixture of that on there. Whatever sauce, you, it's it's top tier. Period. <laughs> You've got me all fired up now. I know, right? <laughs> oh, fired up indeed. Uh, you get 40 minutes to finish, not 45, as the promotional artwork suggests. But I get the feeling the enthusiastic attendees, including this handsome chap, rather wanted me to go for that record, so sorry about them. You only got four minutes, yeah. You could get it. Yes. I'm cleaning up here. Look, I'm not a total pig. Just a, a, a few pieces of meat and some uh, some veggies to clear up now. We're not too far away. Oh, I'm at the edge of my seat. You guys were bad influence. Good chair, <laughs> There's a female who be eating the fastest I've ever seen anybody eat. Like, she would probably be done with this in like two minutes. Just pack on your bag to go home. Yeah, man. Thank you for your patience. We appreciate it. Hold stretch here. That looks so, un so unappetizing now. Are you ready with the clock? Hey. <laughs> yeah, steady on. Still a bit of cleaning up to do, but we got plenty of time in which to do it. I tell you what, this would have been way more difficult without my little pit crew on hand here, so I'm quite glad the restaurant announced 
that I was going to be here after all. I'd highly recommend this one, and uh, I, I'm not a fan of kebab meat. I am, however, a huge fan of that sweet donair sauce. That was yummy. Kebab is not lamb? It is lamb. It's just lamb. He said kebab meat. What is... Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm very disappointed that he didn't say, like, that's his calling card, isn't it? Like, this is a video without it. What's going on? I don't know. That's funny. There you go. Woo! Amazing. <laughs> uh, 15 minutes and 20 seconds. New record. There you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Normally I would never eat like that. That was probably disgusting to watch. It was pretty nasty. That was awesome. You don't have anything sweet, do you? Any desserts or anything? Dessert, sure. I had to ask that with you guys here. Oh, I love that stuff. I get a hat as well. Typically, they don't give out prizes, but. Oh, that's I have an extra one, that's for you man. Thank you very much. Nice. I really appreciate that. I'll try a little bit of this baklava. Quite enjoy this stuff, you know. Normally gets at Christmas sometimes from Costco because nobody actually buys it. I like those, but they like it gets stuck in my teeth. Yeah. Oh. This stuff is always good. It was really nice to meet you, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for grabbing the sauce. He's a genuinely good guy, I believe. Like it's, I believe he's just Sorry, no on the front there. I want some mo. Get it? <laughs> There's some sort of a good pun there. It's a dad joke. I don't get it. Well, I'm a dad. I do get it. Taylor, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I, I do feel like I can do this with ease. I'm gone.